We are kicking off a day-long statewide tour for the endorsed DFL ticket for statewide office. Before we hear from some of the candidates themselves, I'd like to acknowledge some of the others who are here, uh, including Mayor Chris Coleman of St. Paul. Yeah. As well as a number of the other candidates for the DFL endorsement who are rallying behind our endorsed candidate. We have here with us this morning, uh, let's see, Senator John Marty. Yeah. Representative Paul Thiessen. Yeah. And Mayor Mike Raga. Yeah. And I would, like to, I would like to publicly thank all of them, as well as Representative Tommy Rukavina, for letting us come out of the state DFL convention, a united party rallying behind our endorsed candidate. Yeah, well, Margaret's one of my great friends, and I've watched her as a leader in the state house. I was one of the people that was her strongest supporters. She's great at bringing people together. I think she does understand Minnesota uh, absolutely, and in all its strengths and all its diversity. And that is what we're going to need in the next candidate and the next governor of Minnesota. I think she's going to be a terrific governor. Same here. I, I have not worked as closely with her as Paul and the House members have, but, but she's clearly someone who cares about Minnesota. She has a good knack for bringing people together. And I think she will be a great governor. And yeah, the Republicans are going to take cheap shots all the time, but we're united as a party. We're very excited about her. I'm uh, extremely excited to be part of what I think is one of the greatest fields that's ever run for, uh, for governor. And uh, uh, the speaker uh, won a convention but she also won the hearts and minds of the party, and uh, I am uh, absolutely interested in helping. We're standing here at a company that um, is doing good work because of federal stimulus passed by Democrats, working in a state with an energy standard that is nation-leading, passed by Democrats, installing it in a city dealing with affordable housing, led by a Democrat, and the only people standing in the way mm -hmm. are the Republicans. We have to win this election. Good. Yeah. Mark Nagy, there was certainly over the weekend at the convention, there were a lot of things, speaking to people, a lot of things that were not so kind said about him at the DFL convention. What are your thoughts about his approach to this race, and is this going to get ugly and expensive? You know, I don't, I, I don't know. What? I don't know really what you're talking about in terms Speaking of. Delegates, I apologize. Okay, oh, I all right. Apologize. Because actually, I worked for Senator Dayton at one time. I think he is an outstanding person. I think he has a big heart. He has always put the best interest of Minnesota first. I think there's a lot of Democrats who would like him to put the best interest of Minnesotans first here in the in this phase of life and unite behind the DFL endorsed candidate. I think it should be a high-minded campaign about the ideals and values of Minnesotans and you know I tell my kids every day that that's how they have to live their life and uh, even when someone is uh, trying to throw a punch at you you need to be as high-minded as possible and live to those high ideals and you know I think that's where bringing that skill to the campaign is going to be important.